Her late Majesty's coffin will be brought down to London from Edinburgh by a Royal Air Force C-17 Globemaster. She'll be uh, the, there'll be a royal salute in Edinburgh as her, her coffin is loaded onto the aircraft at about uh, six o'clock this evening, and then at seven o'clock this evening, the uh, Queen's Colour Squadron of the of the Royal Air Force Regiment will be at RAF Northolt with the King's Colour, uh, and uh, and there'll be a, a royal salute and uh, a uh, royal welcome as Her Majesty's coffin is uh, taken off the aircraft and then into the hearse for the drive into London. Yes. Yeah. The, the aircraft is one of our operational airlifters which has seen service around the world. A year ago it was part of the evacuation of, of people from Afghanistan, over 15,000 carried by, by the Royal Air Force alone. Uh, this year it's been heavily involved in getting aid to Ukraine, uh, weapons and uh, ammunition and uh, body armour and helmets and, and first aid and medical aid. As Chief of the Air Staff I was privileged to have regular audiences with Her Late Majesty which involved wide-ranging discussions from geopolitics through to the, the latest technologies. She had a deep interest in the, the health and morale of the force and our people, and, and she just had a, you know, there was just a, a, a brightness and a lightness and, and, a, and an interest. We certainly enforced the no-fly zone, but, it, but, but also I was you know, seeing how the, the sanctions that were in place were gradually being... And for me, I was privileged to have my, my most recent audience with Her Late Majesty was in July, just before she moved up to Balmoral, and the sense of having got through the jubilee, having the, the, the enormous success of her 70th, uh, you know, 70th jubilee, platinum jubilee celebrations, and then looking, for, looking forward to the break and the rest up in, up in Balmoral. She was um, absolutely uh, b brimming with interest and, and energy and and ideas and her in and the sparkle was in her eyes the sense of humor her her you know, enjoyment of anecdotes um her, her enjoyment of understanding how the royal air force was how her royal air force was and yeah yeah i know i know the queen often came and visited royal air force stations as she did royal navy ships and, and army barracks and and she was always interested in the latest, uh, the, the latest uh, aircraft and technology that we were operating. But above all, she wanted to talk to the people and talk to the families. Her, Her Majesty herself came from a service family. She, un she understood what it meant to be a, a family member with a loved one uh, overseas on operations in peril. Her husband, her, her, uh, her, you know, her, her, her sons, grandsons all saw uh, active service. Thank you.